Maker Monday, we've got a new episode and it's the second part of our Smart Mailbox episode. Uh, if you haven't seen that uh, two weeks ago, go back, watch that and then come back. Um, in this episode, Bjorn's going to show us how we can get the signals from the Smart Mailbox into Home Assistant, aren't you Bjorn? Yeah, sure. Bjorn, are, are we wearing the same clothes as two weeks ago? Yeah, they're smelling a bit already. <laughs> Some might say we uh, recorded this on the same day. Yeah. Alright, Bjorn, uh, we've got this hooked up at the moment to yep. the microcontroller and uh, what, what's the next steps? Next step is uh, the microcontroller sends MQTT messages to our home assistant. Mm -hmm. So we just need to configure home assistant to pick them up, all, all right. these messages and do something with it. Okay. It. We just need to go to our GitHub repository, uh, Maker Monday. So it's uh, github.com, Pessler, AG, Maker Monday, Maker Minus Monday. And there you'll find the latest episode and there's some sample code which we just need to put in. So um, I'm just here on our Raspberry Pi in the Home Assistant and I will just open the configuration.yaml uh, which is the basic configuration file. Mm -hmm. And so we just need to add an MQTT sensor which receives the correct, uh, correct traps for our uh, mailbox. mailbox. And uh, we'll do something so it, with it. So we are just going to the configuration.yaml, going to the bottom. We already see all the sensors which have already been implemented in the last episodes. And you also see a binary sensor and uh, the whatever. Mm -hmm. So um, what we just need to do is uh, add another sensor. So it's again a binary sensor because it's actually it's something like there's a mail inside the box or there isn't. So okay. and uh, the code already takes care about if someone puts the magazine magazine inside and it's blocking the top flap or something like okay. this. So just uh, the thing you want to know is is there a mail inside or not? So you can just maybe put a lamp there if if something is inside. So okay. uh, so we just add another binary sensor. So let's take this one here. So there's already a sample code here, so which you can use, and uh, just some bin trick here, and and that is uh, all of go. that stuff is available on our Maker Monday. It's our, on our GitHub Maker Monday repository. So uh, what I just did is uh, I added a sensor. Platform is MQTT. Uh, name is Mailbox Sensor. You can name it whatever you want, but. Uh, not so important. Uh, important is the state topic. Uh, uh, the code uh, which we did uh, sent something like mailbox slash action mm. and um, the word inside is arrived and emptied. So that's reflected here on the payload on and payload off because it's a binary sensor. It needs to know when it's on and off. Yeah. So these are the two words uh, our microcontroller emits. And that's it. So this is a binary sensor. So we just need to add these lines here. Um, that's it. Um, MQTT configuration, of course, like you did it, like uh, like anyone did it in his own Raspberry Pi, but that's not important here. Just save it, and um, we can test it. So, uh, thing we need to do is just reload our Home Assistant and check if it works. Okay. Should I get the mailbox? Yeah. Um, next thing is uh, we need to go to the configuration tab, uh, general. Uh, good idea is always to check the configuration. If something went wrong and if you restart it with a right. faulty configuration, uh, you will have issues. So just uh, go to check config, takes a second. And uh, if it's valid, uh, you can restart your server. Still, you need to restart the server when you add some sensors and so on. I already did that, okay. so uh, we just can check if it's here. So here are the developer tools and you can see here the states and um, there's a binary sensor, mailbox sensor, it's off, you can see. And let's check it. Mail arrives. Mail arrives, goes on and, and here we are. It's on. It's on, perfect. Okay. So now there's a letter inside the box. Uh, you go and fetch the You mail. open it and let's see. Put it in. And it's off. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, great. All That's is it. working fine. All is working fine. So it's not so interesting here to see this on or off in the state view from Home Assistant. We want to control something with it. Yeah. For example, our super 
uh, Thread Free Light. Yeah, which we set up in a previous episode, so you can also go and watch that if you haven't. Yeah, so we need to add some automation to control it, and to make that automation, we go into the automations.yaml. Uh, I already prepared something, uh, just explaining it. Um, we add two automation. Uh, I called it mail arrived for uh, when a mail arrived. Simple. Uh, your, uh, our entity ID is uh, the binary sensor mailbox sensor. You get the name from your states file too, so from off to on. And when that happens, um, we want to turn on this light here, uh, which is the light thread free bulb E27 VS Opel 980 lumens. Uh, you can also use a friendly name, I guess it was Make a Monday Light. It was a Make a Monday Light. Yeah, right. but uh, that is the original name, which came from the thread free integration. Thread free, what Trad, trad free, trad free. Okay, perfect. Uh, so this is when it's when it turns from off to on. So if some someone put a letter in, and we need a second automation for the other direction. So um, if you empty the mailbox, and um, it goes goes from on to off, then we also want to turn the light off. Okay. So. Um, Quite easy, so uh, just save that file here. Uh, we need to um, restart our home assistant again because uh, I guess automations you can also start with this in the configuration tab says some reload automations, but usually I restart the home assistant, not too complicated. So let's try it. Okay, mail so arrives, postman mail arrives. is there. Postman is there. Sorry, mailman. It, uh, wow. You have mail. But yeah, that is, that is very cool. <laughs> perfect. And you know that their mail is there and needs to be emptied. Yeah. So you need to go fetch the mail now. Okay. You have so mail, you need to go get it. So put it out. Perfect. And the mail has been collected. That and, is and it's off. incredibly useful. Perfect. Yeah. So actually, this is a simple automation. So mm. I mean, it's, it's a light. Right. But uh, you can add anything to this. Yeah. For example, uh, you can add a horn or something like this, uh, or can whatever. Or can <laughs> An air horn every let time your, you Let your mail. whole interior lights blink or okay. something like this. That's and pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So it works. Nice. Perfect. Nice. So uh, that's that for this episode, right? Yeah. OK. So. And uh, what are we doing in the next episode? Next episode is something a little bit more interesting. Again, this was only a light. Perhaps we want to send this information to a monitoring system. Mm. You could use different monitoring systems. Perhaps we use PRDG. Let's see. Yes. OK. Well, that was an episode of Make a Monday. We've got everything set up and configured. Join us next time for the next part of this episode. And we'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe to the